Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Call of Duty video. Guys, today we have a couple things to talk about, about things I'm switching. One of them being switching from, uh, you know, possibly switching to the M4 role. And then also the other one is just a little bit more transparency about what we talked about in the uh, last week's video about sw possibly switching platforms. And then also I want to let you guys know real quick that if you guys use code EMGG at checkout for G Fuel, Scuff, DX Tracer, or Meta Threads, you will get a discount. And today is the last day for the 30% off at G Fuel. So if you wanted to restock on some G Fuel, now is your day. Today's the day. Do not miss out on that. Guys, I don't know how we did it, but we finally did it. This is, I cut out all the other ones. This is like my eighth, ninth, maybe even 10th attempt at finding the beginning of a game. I finally found a game that's at the beginning and I, I'm so happy. I've been sitting here. I just keep joining the same exact Grasna Raid hardpoint that's halfway done over and over and over again. I could not stand it. But, I mean, we're here. We are finally here. And, guys, here is the first thing you guys are going to notice. If you've been watching the streams the last few days, you've already noticed it. I've been rocking the M4, dude. The M4 over the MP5. I, I'm kind of digging it, you know? It is a uh, significantly easier play style. Because, or I'm in Search and Destroy specifically. I'm not, I don't know about Hardpoint. Uh, but in Search and Destroy specifically, it is significantly easier to run this M4 than it is to run the MP5. Now, I will say... If I was not streaming and I was playing like competitively, there was no stream, I didn't have to entertain or anything like that, I would still rather run the MP5 and be an entry fragger, which is basically what I do. I run in, try to get the first blood, and then I usually die. But for stream purposes, that sucks because I'm always dead first. There we go. Finally broke into here. Here we go. Oh, another one dead. Jeez Louise. Those guys kind of had that head down. I have no idea what the next hard point is, and my teammates don't seem to care. <laughs> that guy finally finally got the courage to move up on the hard point and instantly got instantly died where like where is this guy this d brown guy i mean he he wants it so i have no idea where the next hard point is however i will say dude this is that d brown again who killed me no it's not okay uh, i will say though running the m4 i mean i'm having it's like a treat it's like a real good time wait is this there he is there you are just hanging out up there i mean it's nice like at uh far like medium and far range which is where I like to sit back at now instead of just running in and headbutting my way through a door and then getting first blood and then getting first blooded. And then, wow, like, hello, where are you at? Oh, hey, we got spawns. Love to see this. I think this is actually like 100% my first time playing hardpoint on this map. I really think so. I'm not 100% sure. This is like one of my favorite uh, search and destroy maps, though. Backlot. I'm, I love playing this on the Modern Warfare Remastered uh, stuff. When, when me, Brandon, and Vince would play three v three searches oh that was a good time this is fun right now here we go we're, we're working on oh my goodness oh dude if you use a marksman rifle i'm tired i'm tired of da dogging on the snipers but i'm gonna say this if you use a sniper rifle i don't care anymore you're a loser okay just straight up i mean it's that's final okay if you're gonna snipe use a sniper i mean at the very least tig kind of convinced me of this okay thank you tig for opening my eyes I realize that I've been complaining about snipers a lot, right? However, it's not really the snipers that are causing the issue. It's the marksman rifles. The Car 98 and the MK2 are the things that cause issues. When people kill me with an ATR and AX50, sure, it can be annoying, right? It's still annoying a little bit, but it's like not that crazy. This The Car 98 MK2 bullcrap is annoying. So I'm going to say it, and I mean this. If you use a marksman rifle, you're a turd, dude. That's right. I said it and I meant it. Now, let's talk about what you guys really care about. This whole this whole stuff, I, I put on a put out a tweet today. And uh, that now I will say the tweet is asking like what platform you guys like would want me to move on, okay? Now, whatever the result is, is not gonna necessarily be like what I do. I just wanted to get like some feedback from you guys because you know you guys are the viewers. So you guys obviously matter a ton to me. Like what you guys think about the Oh, baby. But yeah, your guys' opinion obviously matters a ton to me. So I wanted to know what you guys thought about the platform. Okay. Co no, Coley, you're so lucky I ran out of ammo. You're so lucky I ran out of ammo, Coley. Oh, I still got a precision, though. That's nice. Is this a bad gentleman up here that I just witnessed? Is he going up the... No, okay. Okay, that was weird. Was he back here the whole time, or did he... Sp okay. I don't actually know what happened there. Look at the scoreboard right now. I mean, my team's getting crushed. Like, two kills, three kills, three kills. This is literally just not fair. <laughs> I mean, this is skill-based matchmaking at its finest, you know. It is what it is. Hey, I want to say real quick, I personally, if skill-based matchmaking means that I get a league play, I'm down, okay? I want a league play more than anything. So if that's what it takes, then that I accept. What? I got destroyed. What good is that guy using? Oh, he's using the M4 too? That guy, that guy smoked me. 
That guy just embarrassed me. I gotta call in my precision up here. I gotta get these guys off the hill in any way I can. Or at least get them away from it a little bit. What are you doing? What is you doing, bro? That guy was goofy. Let me get these 20 seconds real quick for the boys. And then hopefully I don't get world start up here again. Nah, oh, I'm getting naded. I'm dead. Yeah, I was gonna say this. I had no hope there. I mean, I was already, I was already naded out of my mind. So, back to the whole... Oh my goodness, I'm so good at this game, I swear. Let's go back to the Theta, YouTube, and Twitch. Those are the three platforms. Facebook gaming is an absolute no-go for me. Uh, Facebook is kind of like... I mean, I, there are people who stream on Facebook who do great, right? That's just not not for me, okay? I, I don't I don't have, like, a bunch of friends and family on Facebook that would, like, watch me and all that stuff, like, to start it off. So, Facebook is a no-go for me. Um, so, it's between YouTube, Twitch, and Theta. I've been thinking about this a ton. Not to, I've thought about it before, too, but, like, lately I've been thinking about it, like, non-stop about the pros and cons for each platform. And there's quite a few. I mean, not quite a few, but there's definitely some significant pros and cons for each one. So, YouTube is you know the obvious pro to youtube is that we're already on youtube we already have an established 500 ish you know 550 ish give or take subscribers there's no way there's no way you're there well actually wait i have venom 4 i can kill you hold on peek me again okay i don't think he's going to so yeah 540 or 550 ish subscribers already established very cool uh now the something that's like a pro slash a con is like the membership option like that's an awesome pro but i can get members one day however the con is i have to wait till i get it to a thousand subscribers and then four thousand hours of watch time which is a little bit away however i feel like that's more of a pro because once i do finally get it it'll be that much more rewarding so i don't know um the only real con to streaming on youtube still is that the classic all my eggs are in one basket which means that if one day like i mean i've seen this happen where people their youtube channels get like uh incorrectly like shut down for a little bit and obviously they fight and they get it back uh I don't, i'm sure there's probably people who fought and didn't get those back but however it's just the idea that if i have all my stuff on one platform if something happens to that platform if even if youtube like were to get hacked for a day or something like that i know it's google very unlikely however it's just that it's there right and if, if all my eggs are in one basket then that is not not great you know i mean that that's risky is basically what i'm getting at here now let's talk about twitch the one that is currently winning twitch is what most of you guys in the twitter polls voted for now twitch the pro to twitch is that it's twitch so it's like an established streaming platform basically everyone knows about twitch i mean you guys seen the t-pain freestyle that happened recently that was pretty cool uh on twitch i mean everyone knows what twitch is basically um now the oh another pro is that i already have affiliate on twitch because i've streamed on twitch before so that's a actually a pretty big pro is that i already have affiliate the con on twitch is so heavy that if it like if it wasn't for this con i would have like never even left uh twitch which is the discoverability on twitch is so low that i mean you're basically you're not gonna ever like unless you're already a top streamer you're not really going to find new fans on Twitch. You have to bring people from other platforms to Twitch to grow your Twitch. And that's like basically like it. it's so hard to find new people on Twitch. And basically the only new people you're going to find on Twitch when you're like a smaller streamer like myself are the people who are just trying to get you to look at their stuff. You know, like they just want you to look at their stuff. They don't actually care about your stuff. They're just trying to find someone who's low like they are, like low number count and you know basically do a follow for follow i would honestly i mean i would love we play i mean look at my teammates like look at the mini map oh that's the look at the mini map i mean this is the closest my teammates have been wait can i do my look this is the closest my teammates have been this guy finally is getting close to the hard point but look this is the first time anyone besides me has even gotten close to the hard point and look how much time's left 10 seconds like what my teammates are so dumb it hurts look at that scoreboard again 28 kills this guy is 22 but i mean look 13 seconds three seconds 9 15 80 like what is actually happening uh oh this guy's gonna get a free watch this let's delay that a little bit that's gonna get him for sure okay then now i'm in trouble is that guy still alive up here and now i'm getting naded my teammates are nowhere near either to trade with me so yeah i'm, I'm in trouble right now yeah here we go like dude hello i've been on the hill forever not a single teammate is there yet now let's talk about theta the one that i'm gonna be 100 percent honest with you guys i'm leaning towards because i love youtube but this is the whole all your eggs in one basket talk if it wasn't for that i mean and that's the thing once again youtube the chances of anything bad happening to youtube very very slim however it's just the odds are there so i have to account for it 
So I'm, I'm really leaning towards either YouTube or Theta for the most part. Uh, not that Twitch is bad, but it's really the discoverability on Twitch is just not there unless you're already established. Twitch is something I could switch to in a future date if I stayed on YouTube now. That's something I could say. If I stayed on YouTube now and actually grew a really nice, like, bit, like larger fan base, then one day I could switch to Twitch easier. But let's talk about Theta. Pros to Theta, number one pro, which is actually something I made a mistake about in my video the other day. I said that they were owned by G Fuel. They're not actually owned by G Fuel. They're partnered with G Fuel. So I got that incorrectly. But still, partnered with G Fuel is big because if you guys don't know this that is like the that's like the sponsor to have like that i want like of all the companies in the world if i could have any company to sponsor me it would be g fuel that okay, guy i mean i'm just i'm just playing the real loser or and all oh, this guy is going to try to see for my teammates out of hill is he just scared to move he has stun there you go <laughs> there we go anyone else here oh my goodness my teammates are okay are they actually rotating that's actually good I don't know where the next hill is at, actually, so I don't know if they're rotating or not. Um, so, yeah, the Bane Pro Theta G Fuel. Another pro of G Fuel, this is kind of, G Fuel, of Theta. This is kind of like the high risk, high reward of Theta, is that it is a smaller platform at the moment that is working on being built bigger, right? So, the high risk, high reward is if I go there, I'm going to a platform that is smaller. A lot less people know about it, especially compared to like uh twitch and youtube like very few people like know about it i just saved my team like hardcore with that play right there i'm actually a gamer let's call it precision here um so the pro is that like are the like the risk of that is like not really many people already know about theta the pro to that though is if i am on theta and not many people know about theta then that means one day if theta blows up i have a really high chance of blowing up with it because like, I would blow up with Theta, you know what I'm saying? There's no way I'm going to let this guy... I was going to say, dude. No way this guy's about to kill us, right? Oh, no, I'm going to nade it now. I, mean, I don't want to take any damage from that nade. Okay, I'm about to die for sure here. Right, I'm out of ammo. I need really one more kill for VTOL. Okay, I am so dead. So dead right now. As long as my teammates stay on hill, we might actually win this. I need a gun. Nope. They just got off hill, bro. We just lost. Come on, come on, come on. Nope. Man, I was one kill off. I would have got it right here. Man, dude. Whatever. Whatever. My teammates should honestly be embarrassed. I mean, look at my time compared to the rest of my... This guy had 19 seconds. At least this guy had a minute, but he went 13 and 31. Like, hello? We're skill-based matchmaking. I, those guys were not on my skill level. That's for sure. So real quick before we end it, the big, like, pro is the same thing as the con for Theta. It's a high-risk, high-reward. So... Like I said, the negative to Theta is that they're new, so there's a lot less people who know about it. However, the pro is that if I can get into Theta, because you have to get, like, invited, I believe, or there's some kind of thing, like, you have to have a golden stream key. But if I were to get invited to stream on Theta, like, if I were to request it and they gave me permission, like, they liked my content, then that means that I will be an established person on Theta. So that way, one day, if slash when they do blow up, then i would go with them like i would blow up with them because i'm one of their like original streamers and i know there's like already a good handful of streamers on there but like for instance when i get on there and i check the call of duty like section i've never seen more than two people streaming call of duty at a time on the whole website now when you go to twitch like call of duty i mean there's thousands of people streaming call of duty so i just wanted to keep talking about it once again i not like planning on switching anytime soon however and or at all i mean once again uh, one option is to stay on youtube that might happen that might happen forever that might actually just happen for a while until one day i get a bigger platform on here and move some who knows i just wanted to be very transparent with you guys on what is happening what's going on in my process through my brain another thing i want to let you guys know that something really awesome is i've said before the land that we we're going for uh the, our offer got approved so now we are currently in the stages of talking to the bank to actually get the loan like finalized so then we are we're this we're this far away from being able to finally say that we own uh, some land which is awesome i just wanted to give you guys a heads up on that and then after you know we actually own the land there's a few steps after that but we're working on it so thank you guys for watching today's video thank you guys for all the subscription all the likes thank you to everyone who's been stopped by the streams and there will not be a stream tonight at this moment unless like unless taylor last seconds decides that she wants to stream among us someone is calling me right now i apologize but thank you guys for watching today's video, and I'll see you guys all later. Goodbye.